Hi everybody, we're back here at my desk and I have a few more art tip lessons for you guys with regards to your pencils. We went over talking about the grades of the pencils the other day with the other video. So today I wanna to show you a little bit more on how to prep your pencils and use them and what kind of marks you get out of those pencils once you prep them. So I'm gonna start off with a set that I probably didn't prep quite a bit. And this is the one you saw in the previous set previous video and then I'm going to have my exacto knife so with this exacto knife what my plan is is to shave a few of these pencils to show you the process and the technique without you know the fear of injuring yourself so you want to make these pencils a little bit more vulnerable that's my process that's what I show my students how to do in order to teach them how to have a light touch when it's time to use them for valuing and shading so this is what one looks like that's already been prepped. And that's what we're gonna do with this one with the X-Acto knife. First, you wanna have sort of kind of some kind of something underneath the scraps so that it's not all over your desk and the floor. So have a piece of paper underneath your, your um, setup just before you get ready to shave your pencils. I call it shaving. So this is a 2B, it doesn't matter. Either, either Any one of these in your kit will do for your practicing. Eventually you're going to sharpen all of them or shave all of them. So what you wanna do is you wanna hold your pencil in this hand, in your, in your non-drawing hand, that's what I do. So I'm, hold, I'm gripping it with my four fingers and I'm gonna use my thumb as a push off for the tool. So I'm gonna grab it, grab it with the four fingers. I'm gonna hold the tool in my right hand and I'm going to put my thumb on the grip. So you place your blade in the paint and you gently push with, push with your, your, your pencil holding hand, you push the blade. You push the blade with your pencil holding hand. So it's kind of like this, okay? And you're also pulling back with these fingers Try to pull back on your pencil as you're shaving them so that you can get a nice long whittle going with that. You wanna expose at least a half an inch, <clears throat> excuse me, and half an inch of your, your graphite in your pencil. So push with the left thumb and twirl or curl or tweak with your right hand so that you do not push on your graphite. If you push down too hard in your graphite, you're going to snap it. Most especially when you get into the soft pencil range, the B side, you're gonna break your graphite if you don't twist this hand upwards. And I like to have these pencils shaved in my classrooms when I'm teaching drawing to my, my college students because I know that when beginning students get, get into drawing, they wanna push really, really hard. They wanna choke their pencils like this, and they wanna draw really, really hard, okay? But what I teach is to relax a little bit. Relax your hand, pull your fingers back. If you're underhand or overhand, it doesn't matter. Tripod grip or underhand, it doesn't matter. You just wanna lighten your touch as you are moving your pencil around your sheet. Don't press and squeeze. Either way, okay, you want to just lighten it up and you want to mass. You want to mass in layers of values until you get it as dark as you want. And then you also want to turn your pencil on its side to get nice range. So when you're in the darker, when you're in the area where you want it darker, you can give it just a little bit more pressure without too much. You don't, you have to know your pencils. So you're gonna be playing around with these pencils over and over to know what kind of pressure you can put. So right now I'm massing where I am putting more and more material in the same spot to make it darker. And as I go into the larger area, the lighter area, I'm going to decrease the pressure that I'm putting on the pen and lighten up. And then I'm not gonna mass so much. I'm just gonna put a little bit. So that's a nice range of value. And you can go back up. If you feel like you need more, you press a little bit harder without breaking your tool. Leave it as flat as you can. You only want about a half an inch out of there, okay? Just a half an inch. If you go any further, you're gonna make that graphite way too vulnerable and you may break it as soon as you touch the paper. 
And you can go overhand when you want to find details and get in there and just maybe push a little bit more value in without making a line. You don't want to make lines in your value range. That's why it's okay to turn it on the side like this and you move it down your range like that. You can do the same thing. This is a, a 2B. You can do the same thing with a 4B and you're just gonna get a different value range. You're just gonna get a different value range. And try to keep your, your when you're playing around with this and making tonal bars, try to keep the range or the shape the same all the way down. Go back up. Keep it spread it out. And if it if it helps, what you can do is you can create little blocks. You can create little blocks and you can start off value inside. Value just keep the keep inside as much as possible. And as you go down, you release your pressure until it's really, really bright. You can go back up. Add a little bit more massing and release your pressure again as you go back down because you want to keep it really, really light down here. You might not even put any more. So you have to control your hand pressure as you go down your value spectrum. Okay, control your hand pressure and you can go all the way back up and down. So this is a 4B. This one right here is a 2B. And this one right here I didn't really finish because you can get a lot more black out of that. See how I'm massing over the top of that and making it a little bit darker. So this is how you shade using pencils that you have shaved with an X-Acto knife, okay? Now, you don't, other pencils can be shaved the same way. If you wanna use a number two pencil, you can shave that. If you wanna use charcoal, you can shave these, same process. Have something underneath. So you can shave those, and you only want to bring out about a half an inch in these as well. Just about a half an inch. About a half an inch. And be gentle, be patient with this, and be gentle. Roll your right hand upward so you're not pressing on your your media. You don't want to break it, so you want to roll the right hand upward as you're pushing with the left. Now, if you're you're doing this with the opposite hands, same thing applies. If you're pushing with the right thumb, if you have it switched this way, you have to twist with the left arm and then push with the right hand, okay? Also, save your scraps. So, I mean, catch your straps, scraps so you can throw them in the trash. So, the same thing applies with the charcoal. Charcoal is really messy and powdery. Just beware. When you're working with charcoal, you want to be in a place where you can protect other things around your space because this charcoal blows around and it can get just anywhere and you don't even know it. You, you wouldn't even know it. I might have dust later on somewhere on this drafting table. Just turn it on the side like this and you're gonna be able to control your pressure. Look how far I'm back from the tip here, about two inches. So you want to really understand how to use these tools with in your hand with certain kinds of grips and certain kinds of hand pressure as you move down the spectrum, massing heavily here at the top and less down here at the bottom. So you bring it down. So just practice these. Practice these ideas. Go ahead and shave some of your pencils or one or two of your pencils and then practice some tonal bars like these. You're gonna have fun. I'll see you back at the next video.